All right, and I have a last-minute addition to the New Hampshire Senate race candidates speak-off. Gary Daniels, you still have Gary Daniels? All right, Gary is a uh, candidate for District 11. Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me in back? Because this is a special message for everyone in the room. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two years ago, Republicans took over the House, the Senate, and the governorship. And we made promises. We made promises that we were not going to raise taxes and fees. And when we passed the budget, we did not raise taxes and fees. Promises were made and promises were kept. Secondly, we made promises to the businesses that we were going to create a business environment. And we lowered the business enterprise tax, the business profits tax, increased the once uh, 579 deduction so that small businesses could succeed. We made promises and we kept those promises. We made promises to the taxpayers that we were going to try to address the energy and we did away with the electricity consumption tax. Promises were made, promises were kept. We made promises that we were going to put the state on a stable course. Four years ago, we had $9 million in the fund. We ended this last term with over $100 million. Promises were made and promises were kept. In doing our work, we had some real challenges with things like the opioid crisis, with mental health. We put hundreds of millions of dollars toward that. Going forward, we need to make sure that that money is being used wisely and that it is working for the purpose in which we put it out there. That is something that the next legislature is going to need to, to monitor. There was recently released six pages of accomplishments that the Republicans have accomplished over the last term. That is a thank you to everyone in this room because no one legislator can do it together. It takes a team effort and that team is made up by people, comprised in part by people in this room. To the candidates running for election, Republicans are leading right now. The highest calling of leadership is to unlock the potential in others. That means we need to start making it possible for those who are now being kept enslaved by a, a ceiling put on by the Democrats that's saying that you can't get higher than this. We need to unlock the potential for them to succeed and prosper. That is the difference between the Republican Party and the Democrat Party. We believe that we can create an infrastructure that allows people to grab a hold of their individual lives and succeed, where the Democrats believe that the only thing that they can do is give a handout and that people can rise no further than the handout allows them to go. With that, I want to, I again want to thank you. I want to encourage everyone to get involved in an election of some sort. The big challenge is going to come in 2020. And 2018 is very important for that reason. In 2020, we will redistrict again. If we, if we do not have the momentum going into redistricting, this state could look drastically different, different in the way that the districts are set up, both in the Senate and the House, as well as the Executive Council. So please, stay involved, stay, get involved with a campaign, and again, thank you for your support over the last two years. Rock TV.